scared to close my eyes. I'm scared to open them. Does that sound familiar? It's been 25 years since the Blair Witch Project became a, a cinema phenomenon, going viral before many even knew what viral really was. Yeah, just seeing that stirring the memories. A Westchester County native starred in the horror film. News Force John Chandler spoke with him about the life-changing role. What? In 1999, a film. What kind of stuff? turned into a phenomenon. The Blair Witch Project yeah, follows three fictional students. Okay, I've got everything on video, man. Lost in a forest they fear is cursed. Hurry up! I'm coming! I was so scared watching this movie for the first time in the theater. That was back before cell phones that shoot cinematic quality video and social media to help things blow up in popularity. The film was shot on a budget under $200,000 and it ended up grossing around $250 million. 25 years later, people still remember. I do remember the movie, yeah. It just caught kind of a, a younger group of people that said, wow, this is pretty crazy. Obviously the way it was shot, which was sort of cutting edge at the time. This guy sure would know. Yeah, right here. Michael C. Williams played Mike. It was a life-changing role. These were all over newsstands, and we were, we were, all three of us were still like working our day jobs. It was bizarre. So you're, was bizarre. you're in the deli, yeah. and they're like, what's this news what's week? This? Yeah. It's like, ah, it's going pretty well. And it's still going pretty well for Mr. Williams. Co-directing theater alongside his wife, Tony, at Westlake High in the halls where they first fell in love. I don't think we figured we'd be here. No, we didn't. We knew we'd be together. Yeah. That was a no, no question. But right back at Westlake High School doing theater. You work on putting them in order then. They now work long nights in Thornwood on student productions. And we hold them to task and they work really hard. To get to see the kids at this age really discover that they love this kind of as much as we do is really exciting. Keep the volume way up. And inevitably, the kids discover Mike from the Blair Witch Project. Mike, where are you? I'm right here. It remains a horror staple. But why? I think it's because your imagination tells you what you're afraid of. It's this sort of suspension of disbelief that what happened to these kids. And what did happen to them? I have a theory. You were in it. Uh, yeah, I have a theory because I was in it, you know, but it was never told to us. It's not written anywhere yet. I mean, at the end of the movie, like, we're shooting this in real time, and then I go down to the basement chasing Heather's voice, and one of the producers grabs me and throws me to the ground, and I'm like, oh, thank God, it's over. He's like, it's not over yet. Go stand in the corner. Go stand in the corner. I'm like, what, huh? You know, so I go stand in the corner, and that's the end of the film. And the beginning of a journey back to this stage, but also back to acting. His next film, Ghost Game, debuts this year. It's about some folks who buy an old house and they don't realize that in that old house there are people that are haunting them and they're filming them while they haunt them. I still love to do it. There's nothing like being on a set and creating an imaginary world. And for that feeling, Michael knows no ending. In Thornwood, John Chandler, News 4 New York.